Hey folks, I'm back for another video and in this one I would like to talk about parts tuning more specifically about the uh, suspension parts tuning um, as, you know, I've seen many videos where people talk about the parts tuning and how um, how they affect the bike and there seems to be a, a little bit of a misconception uh, about some of them and also um, because of the way the current UI is for parts tuning, it's hard to relay everything that the parts do. We are, um, like I've mentioned in previous videos, we are actually working on a better UI for the parts tuning, better parts tuning system in general. But really better UI because uh, with, with you know something that's easier to relay exactly what the parts do because they affect a lot of things. Uh, they affect more things than what the UI tells you. So in this one I want to talk about suspensions. I've seen a lot of people uh, complain, um, or not complain, but mention that they seem to be wrecking um, more often depending on their uh, bike setup. Or that the self suspensions are, might be broken because you, you wreck more often or stuff like that. That's actually by design. Um, it's, kind of, it's kind of like in real life. In real life, usually riders run very stiff suspensions or supercross and softer suspensions or motocross. And that's because in supercross you have more chance to uh, come up short on the jump or over jump rhythm section. Or even the amount of G's that uh, riders can pull in between rhythm, se rhythm sections can be pretty high. So you need very stiff suspensions to uh, prevent them from bottoming out. So the way the game works is a little bit similar to that. So let's get take a look at them really quick. Right now uh, my back, my well, uh, not back, <laughs> right now my bike is completely stuck uh, except for suspensions I believe. Uh, let me make sure I'm not lying to you. Let's see, engine stock, uh, clutch stock, uh, chassis stock. Uh, yeah, yeah, suspensions. So right now I have the uh, soft level 3 suspensions equipped. The softer the suspensions, the more they will absorb bumps and ruts and, and even whoops to, to an extent. Uh, they will also give you uh, more preload and seat bounce power, but you're going to lose some scrubbing power. You won't be able to scrub as well with soft suspensions as you would with stiff suspensions. And one more thing that is very important and that the, the current UI doesn't tell you is that softer suspensions will make you wreck more often on hard landings. Because when you, whenever you land really hard, you're going to bottom out a lot uh, easier with soft suspensions as you would with stiff suspensions. And when you bottom out is when you know things start to go sideways. So. Let me do a, a, a lap or two here with the uh, soft suspension level 3 and um, hopefully I will case or over jump a few jumps and and break and kind of show you a little bit of the difference between the two. Okay. So, I messed it up, that was kind of like a wreck avoid. I just got a, a wreck avoidance there. So I was close to wrecking. So I'm going to over jump things a little more on purpose to try and... Okay, there you go here. That was one crash. Let's keep going. Let's do another like half a lap. And get some better data. Okay. Did a pretty strong seat bounce here. I got some wreck avoidance and landing. So I was close to crashing. Oof! <laughs> I was close too. Okay, I missed the seat bounce here. Okay, I got a lot of seat bounce here and I crashed again. Okay, I think we have enough data, so now I'm going to switch, <coughs> sorry, 
going to switch to the stiff suspension level three. So stiff suspensions will um, give you more scrubbing power. It'll be easier to scrub and stay low. And stay low. They will also um, they won't bottom out as easy, so you won't wreck as often um, on hard landings when you over jump or case a jump. Um, but you're also going to slide a little more um, than with the soft suspensions. Uh, stiffer suspensions lose a little bit of traction because they don't they don't absorb bumps and ruts as well. So let me do a few laps with those and see how things go. So I'm also going to, to get less preload and seat bounce power with the stiff suspensions. It's, it's not a big difference, but it's it's enough to to make you feel like you don't have as much uh, seat bounce and preload power as you do with soft suspensions. Okay, so with the stiff suspensions, I should be able to case and over jump jumps um, without wrecking as often or without getting as much uh, wreck avoidance triggers. See, I haven't crashed yet. Taste this hard. <laughs> I think uh, whether I had soft or stiff suspensions, I was gonna crash here. <laughs> okay, let's try to over jump a few things. Let's over jump this again, like before. Let's try to. Uh, I was gonna try to over jump that, but I messed it up. And again, here I landed pretty hard, and as you saw, I didn't crash. I didn't, didn't even get a break avoidance. So the stiff suspensions are working pretty good to, uh, to save me from, you know, from sheer broken bones. <laughs> okay, let's finish this lap. Okay, so I think that was a pretty good example. Um, you could see between those uh, those three or four laps I did that I, I wrecked more often when I had the soft suspensions equipped than when I had the steel suspensions equipped. And that's because every time I over jump something or case something, uh, with the soft suspensions I bottomed out pretty often. With the steel suspensions I didn't bottom out as much. So. It's one of the biggest difference between soft and stiff. Um, so I hope this was uh, helpful and that it will uh, give you a little bit more uh, knowledge when choosing what kind of setup to use. Personally, I like to use uh, stiff suspensions in Supercross and softer suspensions in Motocross. Um, and that's because that's, that's what I did when I was racing. Uh, that's what most riders would do. Um, you usually want to run stiff suspensions in Supercross because of all the G's, all the G out and all the, uh, the hard landings and, and rhythm sections. So I like to uh, mimic that in the game. But uh, you do you. <laughs> if you like soft suspensions better, if you can be very precise uh, and you're better than me at the game, which isn't hard, <laughs> then maybe soft suspensions work a lot better for you for any type of track. Um, but yeah, that's, that's yeah, I'm, I still haven't crashed. So let me switch to, to soft suspensions again one more time. Oh, before I do that though, uh, let me try to do a few scrubs with the stiff suspensions to kind of show a little bit 
that was that was a long scrub. Scrub scrub the finish. Ah, it's getting rotted, so I couldn't scrub that very well. Just uh, scrub this deck off here. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to soft. <coughs> Uh, and again, the suspensions will affect scrubbing and, and, and preloading um, the most, I would say. Well, actually, preloading and, and seat bouncing the most. Uh, scrubbing can be affected by the chassis and tires more than it can be affected by suspensions. Because scrubbing is all about sliding on the face of the jump, really. So when you have a flexible chassis and slippery tires, you can really throw the bike sideways on the face of the jump and slide more. Okay, so I'm back on soft suspensions. Uh, let's do lap, lap and a half. I'm gonna try to scrub a few things. And see, if there is, see what kind of difference there is between scrubbing with the stiff suspensions and scrubbing with the uh, soft suspensions. I didn't have as much speed here. So I don't know if you can see the difference. It's not a huge difference. Um, it kind of depends on the jump too. But it's not a huge difference. Like I said, the chassis and tires will make a bigger difference when it comes to scrubbing. Um, but the way the physics are tuned, the softer suspensions will only give you, I think, 70% of scrubbing power compared to the stiff suspensions that will give you 100% of scrubbing power. And I'm giving a lot of wreck animations here. Uh, wreck, wreck avoidance animation, uh, excuse me. Because I have the soft suspensions equipped and I keep over jumping or casing jumps. I really like this track. 